This is Brett Waltemath of the Headliner and Starwatch Media reporting from South Beach, Florida for the 2011 Miami International Film Festival. Starwatch Media. Um, first, please tell us just what inspired you to take on this project? I was working on a screenplay for a while and uh, actually Jay Goethe, I mean it's not really known over here but you know it's the biggest German writer and actually astonishing enough there wasn't any good movie about him um, so we, we thought uh, that's a topic that is not yet covered so and um, then we found the story it's pretty hard to come up with a story about him because he's like such a big artist up there he knew everything he lived forever he was always rich he was powerful there wasn't any conflict for artist drama and then um, actually the producer Christoph he came up with the idea to to take uh, take an angle on him uh, where he's like an uh, a young man and he's still tr struggling to become an artist and that uh, offered some conflict for a movie I guess now we're also talking about a man that is generally considered to be the just uh, the superior writer for German literature. Oh, totally, yeah. How, um, what made you feel that uh, Alexander would be the best for that role? You know what? I mean, we wrote, and then um, if you spent a year or two with a screenplay, you'd still develop a sort of a fantasy about your character, and it's always a hard process to match it right and people come in and it's like oh he's not the right he's not the right one uh, but Alexander he just came in and um, he was right I knew it after like one minute um, even though you know original Goethe was had a dark hair and Alexander is a really a blonde guy but the, the, his whole character the way he acted out the scene it just felt so right and so inspiring that I was like I was like a great moment like because you, you, you know like for this a part like that you can look for months and months and then obviously there you have like he's not I mean now he people know him uh, he's not back then when we casted him he wasn't like a big name and obviously there was all this like producer and distributor guys that said well let's have a name and I just felt he was the only one for me what are the plans for distribution here in the States? Um, it's going to be distributed in uh, June and uh, Music Box, who did also my previous film North Face, uh, will distribute it. And so I guess, um, you know, we're really lucky to, to uh, find some audience over here. They are specialized in foreign movies and they're really good in doing sort of platform releases. So I did a very nice job with North Face and I, I know the movie's in good hands over here. Uh, do we know yet what cities it'll be premiering in here in the I, United States? I'm, I don't know, but I guess it's, you know, it's, I think it's New York, Chicago, LA, New Orleans, I mean all these sort of more cities that have an audience that uh, is, is interested in more foreign elaborate things. What uh, upcoming projects do you have, Philip, that we can look forward to? Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually right now in prep of my first uh, US movie. Um, it's a thriller starring Aaron Eckert. And uh, we're going to shoot in five weeks, so I'm just taking a little, little break off to come here. And then we'll start shooting in Montreal and in, in Europe. Great. Thank you, Philip, and good luck in the future. Thank Shall you. Thank okay. you so much.